Welcome back to Skill Guided, the series where our account's progress is locked to the skill guide. And in order to level up a skill, we must complete the most recent skilling unlock. We can't complete a quest if the XP reward skips an unlock, and our current goal is the Ardoin Easy Diary. Our last hurdle for the Ardoin Easy Diary is the completion of the Biohazard quest. As the Biohazard quest gives thieving XP, we need to hit 16 thieving before we won't skip an unlock. Our last skilling unlock required is the stealing of cowbells, which require the partial completion of the Cold War quest. Our last two requirements for starting the Cold War quest are 34 construction and 30 crafting. In the last episode we made huge progress towards 30 crafting by finally getting the red topaz cut, and today we are progressing with the construction grind. Therefore we're going to need a lot of money and go through a lot of unlocks, as construction is perhaps the most expansive skill guide in RuneScape. So strap yourself in for this extra long, action-packed banger of an episode. Like the video if you enjoy it, and subscribe if you're new. What is going on here? Were these my runes? What has occurred with my runes? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, mate. Oh man, they're gone. Well, damn it, my runes are back. I've got a very weird inventory at the moment uh, because I need money. Funny that I thought I could start the construction grind with 29 GP to my name. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> okay, we're buying the bolts of cloth that we need first to get to level 10 construction. I'm just going to do it 10 at a time. We need... In addition to the, what, 4k almost we just spent, even to get to level 10 construction, we need 40k GP. Why did I think I could just get by on planks? A few GP here and there wasn't a bad thing, but you know what I forgot about? All these fucking trees. If we go and buy a bunch of silk and take it over and sell it in Ardoin. Because we didn't steal it, I think we can just sell it instantaneously. I remember a comment from like way back saying that, yeah, we don't actually have to do that. And it's going to be tedious, but we don't have many ways to get money while also, you know, being careful with our XP. So, yeah. Okay, another one of our crazy wilderness adventures. I'm just desperate to die, apparently. Um, we got a looting bag from our... I think it was the... Ice Giant we got it from when we were getting our Mithril Axe. And you know what's good for a looting bag? Looting! So why don't we go and do the classic, classic Iron Man activity of picking up steel plate bodies in the wilderness and then selling them to the shop because I can't stand any more silk. Oh yes, steel plate body. Okay, nice. All right. See, that there, <laughs> that there, just saved us basically a whole invent of silk. Pretty much. Oh shit, there's a white dot. Oh my god. Oh no way. There's a white dot on the map. Lucky I've got private off, they can't find me. I'm gone. Now I've just got to pray no one's teleporting in. And don't just want to skull up on a little... on a little baby like me. Oh my god, there's no way. Oh my god, what the fuck? Why was there someone there? There's no way there was someone there just then. <laughs> you saw that. There's no way. Why They have Trident on. Trident you can't even use for PvP, right? So maybe it was Green Dragons or something? I have no idea. All right, we're basically on the home stretch now. This is, this is good. Very good. We're almost there. Just a couple of bears over there. Nothing we can't handle. We should be able to home teleport here. The tree of safety. Like, these are going to sell for 1,200 each, so I think we've just made over 60k. That is massive. That's more than enough to get us to 10 construction. Come on, show me the money. 1,200 GP. Oh, yes. All right. I am just going to, yeah, I'm going to hop through every world again. Okay, time to buy some bagged plants. Who am I, Limpwort? Jesus. Okay. All right, so there goes almost half our cash stack. We're down to 35k, but I think we have our plant supplies for now. I've bought the bolts of cloth as well. Ah, oh, I forgot to mine the limestone while we're over in Varrock. My house is looking shit. We literally have a single chair and we're putting our feet on dirt when we're sitting in it. So let's build a brown rug so we can at least have a nice little rug in the house. Beautiful. Looking out the window, we don't really have a window. We literally are looking just out of a hole in the wall. 
So let's let's get some curtains. People can see us when we're inside. So let's build some torn curtains on the wall. There we go. Oh shit, we've just jumped. <laughs> okay, we just jumped up to level four construction. Um, so level three is a clay fireplace. We've literally skipped the level. We will come back and do that um, in the next inventory. I'll bring back some soft clay. Uh, but we're now at level four, which means now we can build a wooden bookcase. And let's just do that because it's right next to us. So wooden bookcase, beautiful. Oh my God, we've skipped and <laughs> we've gone to the next level. That is construction level five. We can now build a kitchen and we can now build fire pit, tree, decorative rock and cat blanket. Oh, cat blanket. Oh, pumpkin. Oh, we can do that. Is that from the Halloween event? That's cool. Uh, but I guess let's build a single fern. I do love a fern. Ah, you need a watering can with water in order to plant garden plants. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, we are witchy. Loving that. Yeah, we look good. All right, that's our spooky costume. Let's go get some treats. So we went, we've been getting lots of treats and now making my soft clay while I'm in Falador. And this is an easy task, filling up water buckets. So, um, yeah, as I said, as I've been saying, once we finish this arty diary, these other diaries are going to fly by. So let's go ahead and build a kitchen for ourselves. Cat blanket. Aw, cute. All right, 15 XP. Love that. Tick that one off the list. Staying in the kitchen here, we can build a fire pit, soft clay and a steel bar. We can also build a decorative rock at level five, which, where does this go? Oh, it's in the centerpiece. So we're gonna have to build another garden. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so we gotta build, yep, this. So limestone brick. Awesome, just a decorative rock. Love that, what a useless, useless addition. But six construction, nice. Now we can do wooden shelves one and mid-level plants. So we have missed a few other things as well. This was our level three unlock. There we go, soft clay. All right, there we go. We can build our wooden shelves one now for our level six unlock. Here we go, wooden shelves. Bending many nails, but there it is. Cool, okay, level seven. So we've still got our plants to do. Let's go, let's, let's do some of our plants. So we have fern for bagged plant one, yep. Oh, shit. That gives farming XP as well. <laughs> okay, well, our farming unlock is currently level 15 oak tree. And our next unlock is actually at 16. So we don't really want to go past 15 without planting our oak sapling. So with three more bagged plants, that'll be another 93 XP. Our medium plants give 70 XP, and there's actually four of those as well. So that means with the f oh no no okay so here's our current dilemma on our way to 34 construction we're going to be getting over 1000 farming xp this means that we'll have to so we don't skip an unlock get the oak sapling aka an acorn in order to grow our oak tree we'll also have to do our level 16 unlock which is the anillion hops so we'll have to get some anillion seeds the next unlock after that is at 19 for Taramin. And so once we plant our hops, we actually have a big enough XP gap that we can gain all the XP from construction so that we won't skip any farming unlocks. So that means the only thing standing in our way in that regard is the acorn and the anillion seeds. So acorn being the main one, that's our current unlock. 31 from doing our dead tree though. And that is now construction level eight. Perfect, there is construction level nine. So there's 10 construction from our wooden ladder. We can now build a dining room, nice. Well, that must go surely right next to our kitchen. So let's go dining room here. And we do have a little bit of farming XP still, so I'll at least build um, one of the level six unlocks with a bag plant number two. 70 farming XP for those ones. So now we have a Big fern and a small fern, lovely. I think it's time to take a break from this and go get ourselves an acorn, or at least try. So back to some combat. Okay, we should have enough treats to get every single reward. 723, let's deposit all of them. Cobweb cape, spider hat, a trick emote. Ooh, another spider hat that we can change style of. Another one, another one. 
Another one. Yeah, right. Halloween mask set and our pumpkins. Perfect. We have completed the Halloween event. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seracnus. Yeah. <laughs> I almost forgot, the whole reason we did this, right, was to get... Is there a pumpkin or something we can plant in our house? There we go, magical pumpkin. Because it does give like one XP, so I guess we'll plant that in our house when we get back in there. Uh, in the last episode, I will say as well, we had an excellent comment about our black knives. Um, I even made a poll earlier in sort of the series lifetime about when it comes to ranged weapons, like, should I have to get, you know, every single type, like thrown axe, darts, knives, etc., javelins, although I don't think you can throw them anymore. But the poll resoundingly was just like, yeah, just do one, maybe mix it up if possible, but um, yeah, I don't need to get every item. So in the last episode I was talking about we can't do it ranged because we only have black knives and not black darts, but I literally already set that rule and I'd forgotten so yeah, we're going to be able to continue with ranged as well, so we may as well throw some black knives and range some mammoths as well, even though it'll probably do next to no damage. I thought, I'll go check out the priest gown for some prayer bonus at the Salia's fine clothes. Well, can I join your order, champion? Yeah, I'm suitable. I've got 31 prayer. So get me up here and I'm stealing your robes and I'm pissing off. Giddy up, new best in slot prayer gear. Come on, this mammoth's nearly dead. We're so close, yes, come on, give me the acorn! No, just coins! We've literally got enough XP and attack left to kill basically one more mammoth. If I went and killed instead Temple Spiders in Forthos Dungeon, I could get lucky with getting a Weapon Poison. Does 75 damage total, so if we poison the mammoth twice, that will kill it with poison. That means we only need to hit it twice, and we've got lots more attack XP to work with when killing the Mammoths. Even though it might only take a little bit of attack XP to get the Weapon Poison from the Spider. So, yep, we're going to Zaya. Oh, what is this? Convert Mithril Felling Axes. Iron... Oh my god. Why is forestry so stupid? Stop adding stupid things to the skill guide! Oh my god, what do we have now? Trap disarmor, padded spoon, petal circlet, smoker cap. Stir. What is all this? What? Oh my god. Oh god. Alright, we'll come back to that in a little bit. We're focused on the acorn. I'm still just gonna. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. Jesus. Ooh, and we're here. A Forgotten Religion, new music track, the Forthos Dungeon. Absolutely love this place. I've spent many hours here on the Zaya Iron Man. It's just, you know, it was released in like, you know, since the re-release of Old School, but it feels old school. They really did a good job with it. I'm not the only one who's made that um, commentary before. But yeah, let's see if we get lucky. Um, luckily, we have our Protect from Melee. Come on, can we get lucky here with Weapon Poison? Uh, air Runes, hmm. Come on, weapon poison. Come on. Oh, my God. We came in here for earth runes and air runes. Okay, we are back. So, we can train attack sure until level 30. So, I guess we'll go ahead and do that. So, we'll so we'll start stabbing one of these spiders with our mithril sword. And then we're going to have to switch over to one of our various knives. Uh, we'll go throw our black knives first, as that is our current ranged unlock. And once we run out of those, uh, we've got steel and bronze knives to train with. But we potentially then have used our unlock for ranged at level 10. So I'm allowing us to use these other weapons to, to train it up. Otherwise, killing that many Berthop soldiers to get enough black knives or black darts to get up to 16 ranged is, is not really feasible. So as long as we use that unlock, it's all good. We are your spider friend. Can't you see our hat? Give us the weapon poison. Cosmic runes. Oh. And there we go. 30 attack. We'll just get this kill and hopefully get our weapon poison. Okay, a bit of 20 extra XP with our mithril sword won't hurt. Coins. Awesome. All right. We can now wield... Yes, I knew I was forgetting something. Adamant. Battle staves with 30 magic. Also the requirement for the swamp lizard. 
I want to get all three of these things before uh, I train attack again. So hopefully you can see the distinction there. Uh, but yeah, attack, now gone. Didn't get the weapon poison in three kills or four kills. That's unfortunate. Uh, but let's go see if we can start the giant dwarf quest and buy a black warhammer at Keldergrim. I'm not sure if we can, but it's worth a shot. Okay, two gold pieces. I'd like to go further downstream. City of Keldergrim, yes. I only go across, but talk to my friend here. He sometimes goes to the city in his ship. Oh, it's this guy. Okay, ho there. Are you sure you're ready to go as well? One of your skill levels are lower than the fully required. Oh, what? We can start it? No way! Okay, I guess we'll start it. Yeah? Alright, let's go. Oh, you're kidding me. I thought we couldn't start the quest. And here comes one of the longest cutscenes of all time. Oh, wow. Okay, well, alright. I'll see you in half an hour when this cutscene's done. And yeah, we might even just be able to buy a black Warhammer and get going with our strength grind. Who knows? Oh, shit. Something wrong. Oh, no. Look at me with the spider hat on. <laughs> Hey, this could be another world first. First one to do this cutscene with a spider hat on. Alright, well, I'm I'm blown away. This is very cool. Uh, and we now have another hops patch down here too. Nice. That's so sick. Okay. What's down here? Ooh, a clothes shop. Want to buy your clothes? What the... What are these clothes? Who has ever bought these clothes? Okay, if they weren't so expensive, I would buy them, but we'll get... That's just weird. Oh my god, and there's the Black Warhammer. We can just buy it. Oh, now we can train strength. I did not think this would happen. Oh, yes, that's so sick. Okay, yeah, now we can train our strength to 15. Oh, shit. All right, well, it can only go to 15. We're... Realistically, I'm getting super excited, but it's only maybe a couple more... Um spider kills <laughs> but still oh that's cool oh nice okay that's so good because once we get to 15 unfortunately at the moment all the halberds are locked away from us we can't do the halberds because to do to get halberds we need to do regicide which requires the biohazard quest which is the whole reason we're doing this grind in the first place but we also have leaping trouts uh which again uh, we can't do that because of thieving, so we're, we're kind of locked, yeah, at 15 uh, at that point, but hey, we can at least train our strength a little bit now. Cool, let's go do that. Now, nah, look, you know what? I want the fashion scape. We're buying the clothes. We're going with, should go pink or blue. What are we wearing right now? We're literally wearing pink shirt, blue pants. So we're going with pink shirt and blue pants. I have never seen this outfit before in my life. This is our new fashion scape. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's a bit tight. It's a bit tight on us. <laughs> that is amazing fashion scape. Right, there's 13 ranged. Nice. Two more levels. Very close. Come on. Yes, lots of hits in the end. Weapon poison. Nature runes and 12 strength our first legitimate strength level in a while. All right. Come on weapon poison, please Oh my god. We got it. Yes. Nice. We got it. Shit. That's awesome That's so awesome. All right. Get me out of here. Oh, yes, that's absolutely huge We can just use the weapon poison on the adamant dagger if it's a waste well I'm sorry. We can always get more but this is what I'm doing right now this adamant dagger p plus <laughs> and we can wield it as well nice while we're here for the future i will buy an adamant sword excellent we can wield that too beautiful uh, we can get a battle staff but that is 7k and i need the money for construction so i am going to hold on to that for now but we can't wield the battle staff yet uh it hits every what did I say? Yeah, 18 seconds. Yes, it's poisoned. So there we go. So can we range it actually sitting here as well? Yes, we can. So now we just sit here. I can flick some, what, Hawkeye while the poison ticks down. 
I mean, you can tell from the minigame teleport time that's down to four minutes when I teleported to the Ferox Enclave at 20 minutes. So <laughs> this has taken a while. This is still the first Mehmet. I'm just testing something else here because this, I've read on the wiki that if a monster goes out of combat, the effect of poison is removed. So before, I'd poisoned it, but then I was sitting there attacking it with range, so it was still in combat, I guess? Where now that I haven't been able to poison it, it's been like sitting out of combat, I guess, because I'm not actually been attacking it. So maybe it's because I was technically, it was out of combat, so I might have poisoned it when I hit it. Okay, so here I've like hit it again. We'll see if it poisons it. But it's still in combat this time. There we go. It's getting hit by poison now. Okay. I think by not attacking it with ranged, I was essentially having it be out of combat. And therefore the poison was healed from it. So I basically can't stand there doing nothing. I have to stand there either attacking it with ranged or sitting here and doing this and just tanking hits. But let's just not worry about all that and get the acorn right now. Limpwort seeds, uh, that, you know, that's probably handy for later on anyway. Alright, another mammoth down, acorn, ah, oh, apple tree seed. Honestly, some of these are probably going to be ones that we needed as well, so I'm just, I haven't looked them all up to work out, like, if they are, but we, we definitely would have needed an apple tree seed after a while, so, yes, there's 13 strength and 29 combat as well. Alright, can we get an acorn? Oh, orange tree seed. <laughs> We're getting all the fruit tree seeds that I probably need, but don't realise it. And there's 15 ranged. Nice. Weird that there's no unlock at a level like 15 ranged, but we're all good. We keep ranging away one more level until we're locked out of it. So 31 hit points as well. Might be time just to sit here and tank some hits. Fun prayer flicking content. Acorn, please. P more potato seeds. No, we got those last. Or we got those on a different kill. Right, we've got a fair few mammoth kills here. And this might be our last one where we can actually hit it back. And then I'll just have to stand here and cop hits after we poison it. Because, yeah, we are about to hit our sort of capping levels for both strength and for ranged. So I'm just bonking him a little bit with the black warhammer. And there's 15 strength. Beautiful. All right, now we're going to safe spot in the trees and start firing our oak shortbow. Combat level 32. Hoo -hoo. But yeah, we've killed 13 mammoths total. We got some more potato seeds, which are pretty common. Dwellberry seeds, we got onion seeds. It's unfortunate because they're all roughly the same rarity as the acorn, but obviously, yeah, the acorn would be... That's what we need right now. That's the thing holding us back. And if we can't get it from this combat grind, because um, I'm going to allow myself to use the animate dagger to poke the mammoth. Um, just get... I've, you can see I've got a little bit of attack XP. We now have under 1k XP to 31. But I'm not going to let myself hit 31 attack. Um, I want to have all three weapons available to me at 30 attack before I hit level 31. And that is my ruling on that. And there's 16 ranged. We can now wield a blue right crossbow. We didn't get the message for it because um, we haven't done the knight's sword quest. But that will be on the cards. Now we just sit here and tank hits. Oh, look, hey, that's a good drop. That's the Anillion Seeds we needed for our unlock following the Acorn. So that, that's a good drop. I'm, I'm happy about that. Sometimes I wonder when a clip finishes if there's a prediction from the viewer. Like, where is he going to go next? What could he possibly be doing in the next clip when there's kind of a clear break? And sometimes I wonder who guesses it if it's just a complete and utter chaotic mess. But... Look at us, we're chopping some teak logs in our beautiful new outfit that we got from Keldergrim. There's a couple of ways we can get acorns. One is through bird's nests. I've mentioned this before. Bird's nests, again, very RNG related. 
Definitely not guaranteed we even get a bird's nest, let alone that there is an acorn in it. But the acorn is very common from bird's nest, so figure may as well give it a go. So it might actually be better for us to be chopping something as normal trees, or maybe even like oak trees, because we'll need oak planks too. Hey, and there's 38 wood cutting. No, unlock, back to chopping. Yeah, so that way we'll get more logs and more chances at the bird nest for the same amount of XP gained. Out of all the nests we get, we get a clue nest beginner. Jesus. 39 wood cutting. And that is 40 wood cutting. No unlock, thankfully, but we're only one level away and we've only got one nest. I didn't get a single other bird nest on my way to 41 wood cutting. 41 wood cutting. You can now chop with a rune axe and gilded axe. Well, I think we know which one of those I'm going to go after. And a rune felling axe. I, uh, I need to look into these stupid forestry updates. Uh. Okay, but 41 wood cutting. No more can we use our adamant axe. That sucks. All right, and I've just looked up the whole felling axe thing because I'm sure there'll be comments about we haven't got bronze, we have to add bronze felling axe, iron felling axe, steel, black, mithril, and adamant to our list, as well as now rune. To get a felling axe, it requires 500 noted oak logs, which we don't have, because I just looked in the bank, and also 10,000 bark, which we have 200. So, we cannot possibly get that much bark before hitting a much higher woodcutting level. Even if I just chopped the anima-infused roots, for example, till 41, I doubt we'd get that many uh, anima-infused bark. So we're just going to have to keep chopping and see what happens with the bark. We'll get bark over time. Um, I'll, when I do woodcutting in the future, I'll do forestry events and get bark, and we'll get a single felling axe handle at least, and yeah, tick off the things like that, because getting every single one of them, not sure if that's possible. An iron felling axe. Oh, this is iron feeling axe! <laughs> nice one, Jagex, you fools! <laughs> An iron feeling axe! Uh, Alright, we've got our beginner casket. Are we going to be rewarded or repaid for the pain we've gone through so far to get this acorn? Come on, what are we going to get? Come on, baby. Black mace. Yes! Woo! Yes, I got an acorn. Nice! <laughs> yes! Oh, that's so good. <laughs> it exists! And we've got tomatoes in the bank to protect it when we plant it. Oh, that's so good. Alright, so empty plant pot that we made ourselves on the tree patch. With a trowel and an invent. There's a filled plant pot. So there's how you do that, in case you didn't know. Use our acorn on the field plant pot. Oak seedling. Then we water it, don't we? Yep. Then we have an oak seedling W. And then we simply wait for this to turn into an oak sapling where we can then plant it in here and pay with our five tomatoes to protect it. Oh, yes. Look at that. That looks so damn beautiful. I'm so happy about this. Oak sapling straight into the tree patch. Oh, yes. And Faith. Take our tomatoes. Yes, now they're going to grow. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this beautiful thing. It's huge. By the way, midway through this episode, I've turned off, like, mouse tool tips and stuff. I noticed that when I was prayer flicking, like, it would come up with, like, the prayer plugin. And I've noticed that, you know, every time I hover my mouse over something, I've got tool tips on. I've just gotten so used to it that I kind of didn't realize it and... Looking back, it's a bit cleaner without that stuff on the screen. So let me know what you think with that. But here we go. We have our oak tree. So, so keen to check this. Let's get a big XP drop. Well, big for our standards. 467 XP drop. That is absolutely massive. Farming level is now 16. Now grow Yanillion hops. Perfect. Okay. Let's go and do that then. I'm just going to leave that oak tree there as a reminder of how good we are. Okay, and another thing from the last episode, commenting saying we can buy plant cure and things from these farmers. Excellent, because I've just left my rake in the bank and we can buy a rake here as well. Love that. I always used to run back to the bank. Yeah, very helpful comments. Thank you very much. Love that. Our level 16 unlock and we'll pay for those. Our tomatoes, yes. 
Back to the construction. Little side quest done. We're back for some construction, baby. We've got a bag, nice tree. That's our level 10 unlock, so let's chuck it over in this tree space. There we go, bag, nice tree. And we just hit 17 farming, no unlock. Dock leaf, yep, haven't done that one. There we go. 11 construction. Can now build fire pit with hook. Okay, short plant. Nice, done. Or maybe just this one, plant. Yeah, plant. We haven't done that one. There we go. All right, now we're getting rid of our decorative rock as well. I just examined it accidentally, and it says rocky. Yep. We can make a pond. There we go. Oh, that looks pretty good, actually. All right, let's make our way to our dining room where we have a table to build a wood dining table. Beautiful. There's 12 construction. 10k. Bag plant. Where are we? Three. 10k each. So I'll buy one of them and we'll get the rest later after another run to the steel plate body spawn. The fern, the bag plant three, the 10,000 coin fern. Does it look any different to the last fern we had? Not really. But now there's 13 construction. And now let's build fire pit with hook. There we go. So that's our level 11 unlock, even though we're a little bit late to that. Now we have wooden shelves two. 147 XP for that, huge. Wood kitchen table, three planks. Lovely, 14 construction. We can now build a rocking chair. Uh, we have a large leaf plant. Ooh, okay. Oh, that one looks kind of cool, I like that. So that was our large leaf bush. This is our thistle. Let's chuck a thistle in there. Oh, that looks lovely, love that. This must be our last here we go, bush. Excellent. And here is probably my favorite bit of construction we've done so far. I knew I brewed all this cider for a reason. You know, even though we didn't end up going to Gnome Restaurant, it all ties back together. If we didn't have this cider, we wouldn't be able to do this unlock of building a cider barrel. We need eight glasses of cider for it. So let's do that. Absolutely wonderful. There we go. And now 15 construction. We can now have four rooms, amazing, and a workshop. Um, I'm not gonna build that just yet. So that, even though we just hit 15, that cider barrel was our level 12 unlock. It is a bit, as I said, it's a bit uh, all over the place because of how much XP you get. But here's our level 14 unlock of a rocking chair. There's just so much stuff for you to build with construction. Like, it's impossible to do the early levels, but we're gonna knock them all off, don't worry about that. While we're in Varrock as well, we also have this inconspicuous bush here that we've been walking past a lot. And turns out it is a beginner stash unit. So there's that ticked off our unlock list as well. Oh god, we're under five digits now. But there's some oak planks for our first bit of construction. Love that. As well, we need some more bolts of cloth, so give me those. Perfect, that's for our rug. Let's go back to the house. Our last couple of unlocks until we need to head back out of the wilderness because this right here is my full cash stack. I do not have nearly enough coins. So we are gonna build a rug at least, our level 13 unlock as we hit level 16. We're also going to say farewell to our lovely pond that we had outside and build in its place a imp statue. Now we have this little imp that's yeah, this is semi-questionable. We also have a bagged oak tree, which I spent my last amount of coin on. So let's build that in the big tree space. Here we go. Oak tree, perfect. And that is farming level 18, meaning once we complete our other plant spaces, we will probably hit 19 or close to it, harvest our Yanillion hops and hit our next farming unlock. All right, we're out of there. Now we've just got to run south to level 20. Home teleport. Another five minutes. Oh, okay. Well, luckily we have our... Yep, there we go. Credits memoirs. We're safe. We've got more steel plate bodies. That is so good. Time to spend some money and upgrade the house and keep going. And you know what? We're only almost halfway there, but far out. We've got a while to go. Oh, that is grim, and there goes half of our cash stack already on just three bagged plants. What a joke. <laughs> what an absolute joke. Now we go huge plant. 
Oh, that is pretty huge. <laughs> so that cost us 10,000 GP, for God's sake. Um, I like the bigger bush over there, so we're going to get rid of this small fern. Yep, and we're going to go big plant space one. Tall plant. There we go. That is 17 construction. And we'll get to those unlocks in a little bit. And we're going to build reeds. All right. Awesome. That is all of our plants, thankfully. Actually, our garden's looking pretty good. Okay, we also need to build a workshop. So another 10,000 coins about to be sunk down the toilet. Well, not down the toilet, down the workshop. And we first have to build a repair bench. There we go. Level 15 unlock, two oak planks. Love that. So we can build, yep, tool store one for two oak planks. Lovely. But we're first starting with crafting table one, four oak planks. There we go. There's 18 construction. We now have another beer barrel to make and some curtains. Oh my god. And that's a total level of 500 as well. How good is that? Oh, that's so cool. Wow. What a huge journey to get to 500 total level. The pluming stand. Uh, with a higher crafting level later on, we'll be able to come here and make... Does it have an interface? No. Okay, once we get our family crest, we can actually come here and color like helmets and stuff. For our level 17 unlock, a wooden workbench. So we may as well build that with the normal planks we brought. Wonderful. And there's 19 construction. Oak chair and cat basket. Okay. Okay, we will be assigned a house crest and we'll be able to build that wall decoration there. Okay, that's not bad. That's fine. We'll come back and do that. Oh my god, alright, um, we are level 19, we're on our way, but yeah, still a long way to go, but um, this is good, this is good. Keep track of every Gillinor family, yeah, care about that, do ya? Yep, give me a family crest, my name is Skill Guided, mate, Skill Guided, let me see. My ancestors came from Varrock, so I can use that as my city crest. So I have the, so I'm a Varrock boy. Oh, and that was an easy task in the Falador area. All right, we're back. And this time we know that we're from Varrock. We've got a family crest as Varrock. Yes, we can build the oak decoration. And that must be the Varrock family crest. The Varrock crest. Yeah, right. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, we instead have the fire pit with pot now instead. There we go. Now we have a little pot on there. Torn curtains, no more. We've upgraded to just curtains. Lovely, with oak planks. And we already have to say goodbye to our cider barrel. Why don't, before I do that, we at least just pour ourselves a cider out of our barrel. Oh, lovely, and take a drink. Yummy. But there we go, we did taste our cider. Sorry, we're getting rid of that. And luckily, we did some Asgarnian Ale brewing now too, because we have to build a barrel for that. And as well, on our journey, we will need the Greenman's Ale, which, of course, we will need Harrowlanders for, which I do have in the bank. But to brew the Greenman's Ale, it does require 29 cooking, meaning we're going to have to get our farming up to the sweet corn at level 20 and cook that in order to progress our cooking. So we'll be back to the cooking grind for, for one level shortly but as for right now let's just build out as Ghanaian ale barrel beautiful 20 construction we don't have a cash stack on us at the moment but i guess we'll put our bedroom over here next to our garden ah uh, beautiful yanillion hops don't even have to worry about the fact if they're diseased or not perfect 19 farming we can now grow taramin i've got that seed in my inventory good morning got up bright and early for my taramins. Give me these. Yes. Nice. That is our level 19 farming unlock. Oh no, there we go. Yes. <laughs> 20 farming. We can now grow sweet corn. The thing stopping us from cooking. I am going to plant this right here. And we are going to stay here until it is grown. Yes, the corn has grown. Sweet corn harvesting time. Nice. That is our level 20 farming unlock. All right, let's hope we we really need to cook this sweet corn. Please let me cook the sweet corn. Just one of them. No. Yes. Giddy up. So good. Okay, so good. Now let's get to 29 cooking and press on 
with that so we can get our Greenman's Ale brewing in time for when we're up to it with construction. Okay, there we go, 29 cooking. We can now cook Mud Pie Greenman's Ale, which we'll make sure to set on today as soon as possible, and cheese and tomato batters. So back to the gnome stronghold after this, nice. There we go, four pie shells. Then we gotta use our compost on it to make a part mud pie. These would not taste good. All right, there we go. Now we're making a wet mud pie. Then we use clay on the mud pie. There we go, raw mud pie, far out, <laughs> terrible. Okay, and let's cook that then on the gnome cooker. Nice. Burnt one of them, burn another one of them. And we use the equi leaves on them, perfect. There we go, cheese plus tom batter. And we've made it to Nada for a visit to a very important NPC. Clean our herbs, 200 GP each. Thank you very much. Now we can brew our Greenman's Ale. And that was an easy task in the desert area too. As I've been saying, these other tasks are just going to be flying by once we finish the Ardoin Diary. Ooh, lovely. And then we add our Ale Yeast. Excellent. All right, there we go. Greenman's Ale is fermenting in this vat. Level 20 construction we are, but we have our level 19 unlock in the Cat Basket category. There we go. That looks a lot nicer than the little cat blanket we had on the ground. Next, we'll, um, I'm just going to hop between the rooms here. We'll go over. We'll get rid of this terrible chair that we, the first one we ever built. We'll get rid of it. See you later. No attachments here. Oak chair. There we go. Another level 19 unlock. Excellent. All right. I remembered. I remembered my cash stack. Time to build a bedroom for 10,000 gold. That is now our cash stack. Holy shit. I guess we'll have to go back to the wilderness, that's for sure. We've got a few things to build. We have a wardrobe over here. A shoebox. There we go. Building a shoebox in our bedroom. Ah, of course, we can build a bed. A wooden bed. Yep. Excellent. Oh, it requires 21. I brought the stuff for it. All right, what else? Uh, we're going to have to build something else in the meantime. Yep, we're going to have to build another chair to level up. Oak chair. Boom. 21 construction. We can now build a wooden shaving stand. All right, and that's where it goes in the dresser space. So we'll build that. Yep, there we go. Here we are. I'm not sure why these are in the game, and I'm not sure why it's like this. But, yeah, we're going to repair this broken potter's wheel. Now we have a potter's wheel, and that's 150 XP. I, yeah, I don't know why it's like that. Ah, oh, and look at this. You know, just a regulation player doing some box traps. Hello, 54NVNMCV space KMV. How you going? Just noticed something else on our little expedition over here. They have rabbits on Isle of Souls. Look, yeah, I'm just going to... I think I skipped those in the cooking grind. I'm not sure if I did. I thought maybe rabbits are only in the um, elf land. So look, if I skipped it, I'm gonna take this raw rabbit. Okay, this is the worst maze random I've ever run, but because I have never, ever had to run over the corner at the edge of the map. Since I have never, ever in my history of playing this game had to like, run so far backwards out of the maze that I have to go over the corner and I didn't know that the raised part you can actually just run over like a hill I figured it was like you know you couldn't go over that terrain or something oh my god all right well this is damn it because normally I've been enjoying doing the mazes like to get good rewards and stuff but this is gonna be terrible all right let's fix it yep there we go 22 construction nice now we can build oak dining bench oak dining table Let's go back to our house and do that. Oh, we can't home teleport for a minute. Look at this. This guy is an absolute legend. The man himself loves the series. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I said 100 bucks if you can guess where a new fashion scape is from. Oh, the shirt is horrendous. But yeah. <laughs> oh, that's bloody made my evening. That is so good. Ha, <laughs> Uh, and he's got an exclusive sneak peek. You know, I'm a, I'm a generous guy. You send me a message, you might get a little sneak peek into the series. You know, 
we might only be like 4k subs now thanks by the way but you know once we're 400k subs this information could be worth a bit of coin okay we're back in the house after getting 22 construction and now we can finally build our oak bench there we go love that for us that is our level 22 unlock there's a nice big oak dining table 23 construction we can now build wooden shelves three well shelves and build some new ones wooden shelves three beautiful all right and that is our last chair made for the inventory we'll just sit here and let our asgarnian ale just and our buzz just simmer for a little bit we are basically out of oak planks and basically well no you definitely saw before out of cash so we are gonna have to go back into the wilderness to pick up more steel plate bodies oh my god and then, oh my god and there's the person hopping worlds oh no this is not good oh come on no all of these are gone shit okay well i think i just need to leave this is not this is not ideal so we're gonna make some more steel battle axes and just sell those to Bob in Lumbridge. We need to do some smithing anyway. So we may as well, two birds, one stone, and actually gain some XP for the money making we do. Even though the money making is significantly slower. And there's 41 smithing, so that's pretty good. Now we can make steel chainmail bodies and rune felling axes. Though we can't do that because of the ridiculous anima requirement to get the handle for the axes. So... Not sure as well why I'm holding on to like one of every bit of armor that we've made. Like we'll need things like limbs in the future, stuff for other skills. But like, why am I holding on to all this stuff? I don't understand. So we're going to sell all this stuff. And yeah, we should be able to get at least a little bit of cash for that. Can you believe it? I'm actually back mining pay dirt. Uh, we have finished all of our unlocks for mining. We've done this. Uh, the level 50 unlock for the size 5 stars. Um, we've just had to mine coal and everything to get our smithing level to 40 when we did our big smithing grind to unlock gold to do crafting. Um, yeah, and I figured that a safe way to get money is, yeah, do our steel bars into steel chain bodies. Isn't this meant to be a construction episode? 55 mining? What is this? Superior mining gloves, no, because we can't even get into that area yet. But mine mithril, yeah, nice, cool. Mithril. Oh, amazing. Very climactic. 80 XP per, that's not bad, eh? Okay, there's 42 smithing. We can now make steel kite shields, so let's go ahead and make one of those. Alright, look at all the bloody money I made. We're rich! 44k! I made even more than that because we made some planks. Bloody awesome stuff from me. I'm a genius. Just got to build some bloody chairs first. There we go. 24 construction. We can now build a small oven. Because now we have a small oven. And there's 25 construction. Nice. We can now build a hall. <laughs> what? A... S what is... Okay, you can now build a hall, in parentheses, skill trophies. Have it a skill hall, you stupid game. And now we can upgrade our clockmaker's bench, I think. Yes, we do need to make some clockworks. Uh, but here we go, crafting table two. Nice. All that molten glass did was put that little uh, vial thing there. But all right, we should be able to craft using that. Yeah, to make clockwork mechanism with a steel bar. Okay, and that'll help us make our birdhouses then. I guess here it's called Hall Skill Trophies as well. That's just weird scenes. So we still have to get 15k, 15k, 25k for that game, for those games room and combat room. That's dog shit. All right, well, most of our cash, or well, all of the cash we currently have doesn't even cover all of the rooms, let alone the materials. So that's kind of crap. But all right, let's build a skill hall. Nice. It's a bit of a mess. I think we need to reorganize the rooms at some point, but look at the progress this is looking great okay so on our actual on our actual clockwork bench here we go oh that gives crafting xp uh it's okay we've got we've got some crafting xp to work with so we're gonna need normal birdhouse 
Oak Birdhouse and Willow Birdhouse? Yes. So we need three clockworks. Perfect, and we're actually going to need a fourth one to make the clock in the house. Excellent. Okay, nice. Cool. Alright, up we get. We have Oak Clock. Yes, nice. Okay, awesome. There is 26 construction. We can now make Oak Armchair, Rope Bell Pool, and our Greenman's Ale Barrel, which we are currently waiting to ferment. I will go and wait by that in Port Phasmatis after we build our rope bell pool. There we go, beautiful. Oh, yes, that is exactly what you want to see. This vat is filled with Greenman's Ale. Beautiful. Let's get our cooking unlock then. 281 XP. Oh, we didn't even level up. Yes, Greenman's Ale. All right. We can't spill a single drop. We need them for our Greenman's Ale in our house. It's <sighs> so much quicker than mining and smithing and collecting all the stuff that we can do with our actual skills, but like, oh my god, is it stressful. Okay, so something I just realised as well, we actually have in the bank some sapphires. We've completed all of our sapphire unlocks for crafting, and so we could actually just make some like sapphire amulets or something, like this, and sell them to like the uh, jewellery store in Port Sarum for like 600 GP each. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. But first let's make our birdhouses. So now that we've unlocked our clockworks, um, we can make our birdhouses to catch up on those unlocks. Cause yeah, as I mentioned before, I forgot that obviously Fossil Island, you know, the fact we haven't unlocked Fossil Island doesn't mean we can't just make a birdhouse. So we should be able to, yeah, just do that. Make a birdhouse. Oh, nice. Well, yeah, I should have done this earlier. My apologies. But there we go. So now we've made a regular birdhouse, oak birdhouse, and willow birdhouse. Um, we can't actually use them for hunter because that is locked behind Fossil Island, which is locked behind our thieving grind. 26 crafting as we make some balls of wool to string our jewellery. We can now craft oil lanterns and drift nets. Yes, empty oil lamp and an oil lantern frame. Use... Yes! Nice! Empty oil lantern! How bloody good are we? And back to our trusty loom to make a drift net. Tell me we can't stuff this up. Yes! Nice! A drift net! Now we can use that in the future when we go to Fossil Island. Hey, 27 crafting. We can now cut emeralds as well and craft emerald rings so they will be good money as well. And we can craft opal amulets. Okay, so a little bit more to do when we get back down to the furnace. Can you imagine right now if I crush every single one of these opals and then we have to go get opals? There's no way. Let's just do one at a time. Shit! Yes! <laughs> Excellent. Okay, I'm saving the rest for later because you never know when we might need them. Luckily, we can't fail that. Oh, 68 XP. We can actually cut all of our emeralds from our wise old man task. That's so good. We'll string that when we get back to the bank and finish the unlock. And we can also make a emerald ring. Excellent. Okay. So our level 27 crafting unlocks are basically done. All right. Just to finally cap off that making of opal amulet. There it is. We can wear that right now. It'll do nothing. And we can enchant that in the future. Straight to level 28. We now craft hard leather armor. A hard leather body. Nice one. Which we can't wear. Oh wait, we can wear. Yeah, hard leather body. 10 defense. Cool, another one of our 10 defense unlocks. And that is 29 crafting one level until our Cold War unlock. You can now craft emerald necklaces and craft jade bracelets. Well, we have exactly what is required for that. All right, here is our emerald necklace. That is our level 29 unlock. Let's make that. Beautiful. Oh, I didn't bring a silver bar for our jade bracelet. Ah, oh, you dick. Silver bar with our jade, and we can make a jade bracelet for our level 29 crafting unlock. Beautiful. Unbelievable grind to get the 30 crafting. This is basically the whole red topaz debacle. Zerikian fabrics, all the gems we needed from wise old man tasks, like, just unbelievable. 
One of our last remaining goals to start the Cold War quest, 30 crafting, is completed. New information, don't care, but now we can craft emerald bracelets and repair broken cranes in Port Piscorilius. Hence why I brought yet another gold bar and we can make an emerald bracelet. There's our level 30 unlock there. Also at level 30 you can make ropes, but you need to use yak hair and we don't have access to Nata's Knot, so we cannot do that. Port Piscorilius Cranes, we can do that and we'll head over to Zaya at some point if we need to do more crafting for more money. Uh, but right now, yeah, I'm going to sell all this stuff. Last steel plate body, look at that, 76k. And I guess we'll just sell this stuff of Earth we picked up as well. I honestly think that's enough cash. I think we've done it. I think we may have enough cash here to finish our construction grind. I want to say, I really hope so. First things first, we're getting rid of Asgarnian Ale and we're building our Greenman's Ale, which is our level 26 unlock. Yes, nice. This will give us Greenman's Ale, where if we drink it, if you're not familiar with what it does, it does lower all our stats, but it does boost our herb lore level. Big plant space too. Yes, pumpkin. One construction XP. Uh, we're lucky that looks pretty cool. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay. All right. Well, I'm glad we did it for a reason. Wardrobe space. Oak drawers. I'm a genius. <laughs> I'm an absolute genius. There's 27 construction. We now be League Hall. What is a league hall? Oh no, I didn't account for that cash. And now we got a shitload of stuff. Oak chest of drawers, well I just built that, didn't I? Oak staircase, trophy pedestal, pump and tub. Stash units, easy, yep, okay, cool. Here we go, oak staircase, yep. Ah, uh, let's go up. 680 XP for that, holy shit. Awesome, uh, that one's done now too. Oh, fuck off. There's two armor spaces. Mithril armor at 28, and this is the cult, the Castle Wars space. Oh, fuck, man. I thought there was only one. Oh, what? So to build this at level 28, we need 68 smithing. Oh, my God. That's so frustrating. That's going to take, like... 68 smithing is going to require so much mined coal and mithril. Oh my god. That's going to require a dragon pickaxe at level 61 as well. Okay, so in real time I sat here and complained a lot and just ranted and rambled and tried to work out out loud how I was going to get this thing done. And I thought, why don't I just post a community post and explain, you know, I've been on the grind for 34 construction and... At 28 construction, we have to build an armor set, and we have six things available to us. If I set the rule that, yeah, I have to do absolutely every single skilling unlock, I would be getting 99 smithing and spending like 150 or 200 hours or whatever it is in Castle Wars to get all the armor sets and build the rune on armor. Then I'd have to also obtain rune armor to, to build it. And to do that at 28 construction is just ridiculous. And so I put it out to the community, Really appreciate when everyone responds to these like I love reading the comments I can see that people have liked other comments telling me. Yep. You agree with that. I, it's awesome. So thank you so much Vast majority except for a, you know, basically like one or two people who obviously just want to make me suffer or even just commented for the memes um, Said yeah Just the castle wars armor one is enough. It ticks off that slot um, when I reach the smithing level for the other ones, or if I end up doing more Castle Wars, I can get the supplies and build the other ones later. But yeah, it is literally too long of a grind. We have been on this Arduin Easy Diary grind for months. <laughs> literally. 34 construction should not require 99 smithing. It's just ridiculous. And um, yeah, like, why lock further progression and further content away uh, behind this. In the skill guide, there's only one listing for suit of armor. So if we build one suit of armor, that knocks off the list. All right, all of that ranting aside, we're removing our drain, our pump and drain, and we're building a pump and tub. 
28 construction. You can now build a trailblazer rug. Rug, suit of armor. And 80 minutes later, we have 12 Castle Wars tickets. Let's buy our decorative helmet and our decorative armor. I think that's all we need. Did I not have that piece already? Now, absolutely bless everyone who replied to the community post of me complaining about the dog shit construction unlocks, about the suit of armor. When we hit the smithing level to build these, 68 for mithril armor, 99 for rune armor, and whatever it is for adamant, we will come back and build those. For now, we have unlocked in the skill guide a single unlock being the suit of armor. We are going to build a Castle Wars armor set as our unlock. Perfect. Absolutely beautiful. There goes our red and blue Castle Wars shield that we've used since the start of the series is now immortalized forever in our player own house. Let's keep going with our grind. There we go, 29 construction. We can now build a large oven, oak bookcase, and oak shaving stand. Well, we have a small oven and we're getting rid of it because it's time for a large oven, baby. Oh, huge, nice. We can also build an oak bookcase. This shitty old wooden bookcase is gone. See you later. Oak bookcase, please. Nice, love that. Yep, shaving stand, terrible old shaving stand. There we go, oak shaving stand. All right, there's 30 construction. We can now build a games room. An oak bed, hoop and stick game, willow tree, small storage unit, that's in raids, and banner stand. Well, time to build a games room. Another 25K down the toilet. Delicious. Oh no, our cash stack is under. 50k. Um, where can we build a game? What's this? Ranging game? Game space? Let's build... Nope. There we go. Hoop and stick. I'm glad we built this room just so we could do this. Woohoo! <laughs> I missed. I missed again. I missed again. What the fuck? This is no more- Yes! Hey, that got us ranged XP! <laughs> what the fuck? Two ranged XP! Oh, that's horrendous. Who wants to come play with me? Alright, back to construction. Banner stand space in the player own house. We're gonna have to play leagues. We're definitely gonna have to play leagues. I plan to do it on my main though, not on this account. I'm not sure if anyone's keen on seeing leagues-based content from me. I, I mean, everyone and their dog does leagues-based content. I've never played one before, so I'm pretty keen to. Whether I make videos on it is a different story, though. But yeah, there's our banner stand. Lovely. Now let's go to our bedroom. And get rid of our shitty old bed. We soiled the sheets. We shat the bed. And now we have to put a new, beautiful oak bed there instead. With nice clean sheets. We also, unfortunately, uh, there's our oak tree. We're gonna get rid of our dead tree. We've said goodbye to our dead tree, sorry, but we now have a willow tree that I paid 10,000 gold for. Lovely. There is a willow tree in our house. That looks lovely. I love that. That looks great. More farming XP, but yep, we've got wiggle room there, so that's all good. All right, and there's 31 construction. We are three levels away, and now we have carved oak dining bench and carved oak dining table. Well, we just removed the oak bench that I just built, and we build a carved oak bench instead. There's our first level 31 unlock, and we get rid of our crappy old oak table, and we get a carved oak table. Yes, look at the, look at that detail on the end. We are such a skilled construction worker now. Oh shit, <laughs> I didn't even realize that gets us to 30 cooking. Did we just skip an unlock like an absolute idiot? Oh no, we didn't. Oh, that's great. Cool. All right, well, 30 cooking. We can now cook apple pies and tuna. Members can cook worm holes, leckish fish and gyral bats and spit roast chompy bird. Okay, well, we can't spit roast anything because we don't have 20 fire making. Uh, worm holes, yep, we'll go back to gnome stronghold. Apple pies we can do, tuna we can do. 
Love that for us. And that's a total level of 525. Uh, combat room. Yes, we can build it. Cool. All right. Awesome. So now we've got 14k left. Hopefully that's enough to get us the oak planks we need remaining. Good morning. Building a chair and 32 construction. What a way to start the day. We can now build a combat room, which I think I already did last night. We are going to build ourselves a nice oak kitchen table. Oh, beautiful. And I brought some limestone bricks, so back into our leagues hall to build something that we can't use. Uh, leagues statue. Here we go. Wonderful. All right, here we go. We're back. Let's build a huge combat ring, a boxing ring. Six oak planks and four bolts of cloth. Small price to pay. Oh, yes. Now we can box people in our house. Who wants to fight me, baby? It is outdated and made of crappy wood. Now we need an oak workbench. Nice one. There's 33 construction. We have one level left. Stone fireplace, oak larder, and cushion cat basket. Love that. All right. Well, we have the stuff right now to upgrade our cat basket. We're getting rid of that and building a cushioned cat basket. The best we can possibly do. Oh, the wool from the sheep is in there. That's so cute. Okay, our clay fireplace is no longer. We now have upgraded to a stone fireplace with our two limestone bricks. Lovely. Okay, we're almost there. Only one unlock left. Age-old training method of the oak larder in our kitchen. Eight oak planks, 480 XP, and 34 construction. Yes! Look at all the stuff we can now build. The thing that matters is if we were to complete the Cold War quest, we would need the crafting table three. But ultimately, we just need to start the quest. Look at that. Requirements done for the Cold War quest. This has taken so long. Oh my god. What a weight off my shoulders. Holy shit. Okay, this all comes back to literally episode two because we just want to start the Cold War quest so we can thieve cowbells at 15 thieving and progress to 16 thieving. Holy shit. And the only reason we want to do that is so we can finish the biohazard quest and get the thieving XP from that. So we can finish the Arduin Easy Diary. Finally. Oh my god. Our major goal for the start of the account is literally... Within arm's reach. Fuck yeah, baby. Woo! Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the crafting grind. Hope you enjoyed everything leading up to this. The mining grind, the smithing grind, the crafting grind, the construction grind. Oh, this is this calls. This calls for a beer. We are pouring ourselves a delicious Greenman's Ale. Ah, see you in the next one.